What's going on YouTube? Minecraft Go here. Today I'll be showing you how to make a Minecraft beta 1.8 and above. So 1.8 through 1.8.9 or whatever it is, a server. It is craft bucket. So which means I can have plugins, but I won't be showing you how to do that. So let's get started. Open up any internet browser and you want to go to bucket.org. B U K K I T dot O R G. Let it load because it's a little slow. And right here where it says uh, fetching feeds or whatever, just download the latest recommend build only if it says MC colon 1.8 or whatever the version is in the future. But right now, since there is none, uh, you're going to go to ci.bucket.org. But since, if there is something right there, download that. It'll make it a lot easier. Then just click dev craft bucket. It's right in the middle. Can't miss it. If you do, get some glasses or contacts. And then now download the latest one. Uh, make sure it's successful. If it has red like this, it means it has failed and it will not work. So click this one right here, the top one. And now click this whatever dot jar right below build artifacts. Should download fairly quick. It's only 8.3 megabytes. Clear. And now close out Safari. Make a new folder on your desktop. Just name it server. Drag the craft bucket in. Clean it up if you want. And now double click craft bucket dash zero dot whatever snapshot dot jar. And it should be downloading like eight or nine items. It's taking a little bit today. <coughs> hmm. All right. Well, sometimes you'll have trouble downloading things. I've learned this from the past, so I will be including pre-made servers in the description. Uh, so yeah, for right now, I don't need that anymore. Right here, is this this is what it should look like. So yeah. Now to actually start your server, well, first let's go into our server properties, and now if it asks for an application to open with, just uh, text that it will work. But if you want, you can use. Uh, like notepad, anything that is, anything that you have that can edit text. So yeah, so if it asks you for application, now you know what to do because people seriously can't figure out what to do. Alright, so I'm uh, nah. So uh, what you want to do, the first thing, is you want to go to the server IP. It's right below max players, whatever. And now to, you actually have to enter a server IP. So now if we go into system preferences, and then this network under internet and network, double click it. Now copy right here, just gonna copy and paste that in the server dash IP. But since I know it, I won't bother doing that. Now please note that your IP address, this is uh, for future references when you have to port for it so friends can actually connect. This is your internal IP, all right? So this will change quite often. There, there are some ways which I've done to make it where it doesn't change and so on but I won't be showing you that so enter that there uh, so now there's actually um, some cool features in here level dash name it's world allow another view distance uh, spawn if you want monsters you can change that to false or if you don't want monsters change that to false online mode this is uh, means if you have a, if you're a hacked client you have to change that to false or else you won't be able to connect difficulty equals like I think it's one to three for I think actually um, zero is like peaceful, one is normal, two is uh, no, one is easy, two is hard, three is, well okay, you get what I mean, I just can't think of it, difficulty equals zero. Now uh, game mode, I think zero is for survival, one is for creative, but you might have to experiment with that because I do not remember, spawn animals, max players. PvP means player versus player. If you have a level dash seed, if you have a seed you like, you can enter that there. Server port, usually just keep that the same. Uh, 25565, it's just it's easy for to remember. Allow flight, let's say if you have a fly mod, you had to change that to true to actually fly on it. Yeah. Uh, allow, or uh, sorry, whitelist, if you only want certain friends to join, make that true. Uh, MOTD, is a Minecraft uh, server. That's MOTD stands for Messages of the Day. So I'm like, hero YouTube. 
And now, uh, yeah. So there's that. Get that there. So that's basically your server dot properties. So the next thing we want to do is um this whitelist.txt. Say if you whitelist, you have to enter their names here. Sound loop seventy two. Like this is how you would enter it. Kinda like that with enters. And now if say um uh, oh I'm not gonna show you that, it doesn't really matter. Save all right, so now, uh, now we actually need something to start our server. Let's do right-click. Our, um, yeah, file. Where's the? Huh? That's stupid. Okay, so we're we're gonna have to go into text edit or any. Ah, I opened up mail. I'm sorry. Let me close out of that. All right. So now if we actually, uh, we need to get to text edit or any, um, but I probably use text edit because this is like, it's really easy. Now, this is very important. You don't have to do this on, if you're on Windows, I don't know why you're watching this because this is a Mac tutorial. You're going to go to format, make plain text. If you do not do this, it will not work. Now, paste this code in. I have in the description right here. Uh, save it. Now, you're going to save it as a start dot command but if you're on windows you'll save it as start dot bat and so yeah start dot command and make sure it's plain text encoding now if you uh, use dot command if it asks you save it as like a dot rtf which mean it means you have not made it plain text and all that so now drag that into your bucket server now if we double click start dot command if i can find it it should say you do not have the appropriate privileges that's normal because now we have to do a little it's kinda like a small hack but it's not really not, I wouldn't even call it a hack so in terminal yours will not look like this I've just changed some preferences just type in chmod a plus x then do a space drag start dot command in click enter now nothing should have come up here just close out terminal now if we start up start dot command yeah um it should uh, be yeah so I'm just going to close out this because it will lag me. So yeah, and then you'll see things in your world start to appear up. I think like the level dot dash or whatever. So the, yeah, that's how you make a server, YouTube. And now if you have any questions about what something does, leave in the comments. I always try my best to answer people. If you look at my last for 1.7.3 server, half the comments were mine. And oh, this ops.txt, to, to like uh, spawn yourself things, you got to add yourself in here save it close out so yeah thanks for watching youtube subscribe if you liked it like if you liked it favorite if you liked it i don't know but thanks for watching